how is it going to date loyalists? <laughs> Kingdom. My name is Dwayne. My name's Jasmine. We're Dwayne Jasmine. We have Shane Celebrity Conspiracy Theories. Again. So this is 22 minutes long, guys. Go ahead and grab some popcorn and everything. Eat your snacks, eat some donuts and stuff in the spirit of us. It's in the spirit of us because we can't enjoy it. Yes. Make sure you guys go ahead and click in the link in the description below because we still sound the loyalist hoodies. Get your hoodies, hoodies right now. They're almost. Yeah, they're almost so gone. gone. So you might want to get, get them now. Get them now. Hurry. Yeah. Hurry. These, man, these colors are not coming back out ever Yeah, they're not. Like, so, serious. Yeah. Really serious. Well, <laughs> anyway, let's dive on in. All right. My theory on people who color their hair wacky colors is they're either having a mental breakdown or, or they want to be unicorn. Coming out because they keep it home. Like they, That's they, fine. They can't put That's it how I see it. It was more that I was just trying really hard to coach. Like they want to be like magical, <laughs> like a unicorn, like, you know, pink and whatever. So they are just theories. It's probably everybody going yeah, to Yeah, so Walmart and all that stuff, yeah. 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 Telling Taylor Swift she probably Illuminati. <laughs> yeah. Okay. attached to a character and then like knowing that she'll do whatever this character wants and be like hey so now buy this
well, nobody mm. knows for sure. Mm. Luna Quayla is still killing it. Nobody knows who made her, if she's real, if she's I've never even heard about face. this. I never heard about Damn. it either. What I'm saying is, just keep watching, because I'm sure that eventually she'll start doing like, here's my coat, or here's my Beats headphones. That'd be cool if she just meets them. I want us to do this one day. I know. I'll be dancing. That is the theory that Louis Tomlinson's baby is fake. I know. What the hell? I'm sorry, that's, that's kind of funny. Now there's a lot of it, so I'm really going to try to break it. I don't mean to laugh at it, but it's like, So first, let's just talk about what happened. Back in January, Louis had a baby with a girl named Brianna. That baby's name was Freddie. Now since that happened, Freddy? and the mother Brianna, okay. or Brianna, I don't know, have really kept Freddy out of the public eye. They like don't take pictures, they like don't have him out with the paparazzi, they keep him very private. Mm -hmm. Which that's what I, would I do. agree with. I think that's yeah. a great thing to do when you're a celebrity, but mm -hmm. keep your kids away from that. Or yeah. are you keeping the kid away from that because the kid is in free? So let me mm -hmm. explain why the conspiracy started. So I have talked about the Harry Styles and Louis Tomlinson relationship conspiracy mm -hmm. before, mm -hmm. and there was a lot of evidence for that showing that they it seems like them two were really close to mm -hmm. we don't want anybody to know the truth so the theory is that the management company wanted that to go away so they're like hey like have a baby a baby with a woman that theory of him being gay is gone and maybe they told him about it and said hey if we do this then nobody will ever question your marriage being in a relationship again what do you think so here are just some pieces of evidence mm -hmm. of this yeah. possibly that's a good cover up that's okay, a good so beard Back in May, yeah, let's go. it was a Twitter account set up called at Brianna Facts. Now that is a fan account for Brianna. But at the time the account was set up, Brianna had never been linked to Louie. There was no reason for her to have a fan account. Well, yeah. two days later, after that been. Twitter had been made, Louie and Brianna were spotted out in public by the paparazzi and their relationship was revealed. So the theory is that mm. maybe the management company of One Direction or the PR company was like, hey, might as well make her a fan account or whatever social mm -hmm. stuff going because once they're out in public it's going to become a thing so then mm -hmm. two months mm -hmm. after that it was revealed that Brianna was pregnant with their baby okay so this is where it gets a little complicated so stay with me okay. so in November of 2015 they tried to pull Beyonce yeah now Jasmine just the head of <laughs> that's Church another story <laughs> now she had her baby in Los Angeles Louis was in Los Angeles just don't believe it at the same time so there's a chance that he met the baby remember that bring that up later. Okay, okay, so now let's talk about the tweet that Louis sent out when his baby was born. So here's the tweet right here. He said, I'm pleased to say my baby was born yesterday. He is healthy and pretty amazing. I'm very happy. No. Now a lot of fans went crazy because they're like, he did not tweet that. It doesn't sound like something he'd say. And also the punctuation is uh, way off. If you look at all emoji. of his other tweets, he always Emoji analysis. Yeah. Right. South Park. I know. Just look at all of these tweets. That's like what you do. Space, but then this new one about his baby doesn't. It seems a little weird. So that's, that's, how, like, that's how I'll be like, this you? Or maybe his management did. Maybe they told him to tweet it, and he was like, listen, I'll go along with this fake baby thing, but like, I can't, I don't want to tweet this. I feel very weird. So now let's talk about the way Brianna announced the birth of the baby. So she posted a picture on Instagram of her holding Freddie, and the caption said, 1 21 16, Freddie Rain. Love of my life. Okay, so the baby was born on 121. Makes sense. But then you look back at Louis's tweet, which was on 123, and he said the baby was born yesterday, which would have been 122. How do you get the day wrong of your own baby's birth? Seems a little suspect. Now, this is where it gets even fucking creepier. So one of Brianna's friends tweeted a picture that supposedly Brianna had sent to her of like her in the hospital room holding her stomach. And Brianna's friend said, I'm so excited for this little one. But then some fans did some research and found that that same exact picture had been posted a long ass time ago Ooh. on some lifestyle blog. So that's not even Brianna in the picture. So why would Brianna's friend post that? Maybe because the they're baby trying to keep the, the baby's fake. Alive. Yeah. Just, I mean, just come birth. out, just so come out, and like, you know, you in a relationship with him if you want. Instead of all this stuff. Then there's pictures of Brianna leaving the hospital, which are very suspect. So pretty much all women who leave the hospital after in a wheelchair, birth, right? Wheelchair. Yeah. They can barely walk. They definitely are not allowed to carry anything. They can't carry anything heavy, barely even a purse, yeah. mm -hmm. and they have to be helped into a car. Here's a picture of Brianna leaving the hospital. Check it out. Yeah. Just not walking. Only is she Walking. Regular. She is not getting help. Wow. Uh, getting into the car. 
That is a huge, tall car. And she's carrying the baby carriage by herself. And that's fucking heavy. And, mm. that's and what about her stomach? Yeah, her stomach is flat. How is she holding that? How is she walking? She definitely did not just give birth. So now let's talk about the picture that Louie posted of him holding the baby. This one is also a new scene. Ooh. So here's the picture. It's a cute picture of him holding the baby. It's in black and white. It's heavily filtered. But it's yes. But then the theorists started poking at it and realizing that there were some things that weren't quite right about it. First of all, look at it next to all these other pictures that he posts. He never posts black and white pictures. This is the first one in a long time. Everything else is color. Why is that weird, you might ask? Well, a lot of people that are into photography say that black and white filters make it easier for you to Photoshop or mm -hmm. manipulate. Like, if you, like, throw a black and white filter over something, you can hardly tell that it's been Photoshopped. Then, somebody took the picture and adjusted it so that the brightness was fully up. And that's when you can see that the baby isn't even touching Louie's chest. Yeah, so he's holding oh. the baby, and in the normal picture, it looks like the baby's touching his chest, and he's like going to kiss it, and then when you brighten it, the baby's like here, and it looks <laughs> photoshopped, like they just put the baby right there. Then in another picture he posted with the baby, people started noticing that a lot of Louis' tattoos weren't there. He's famous for having a dagger on his arm, and that was gone. He had numbers on his fingers, oh. those were gone. And he also had a 78 on yeah. his oh. chest, and when he's holding the baby, and that's not there. like this, so you should be able to see the 78 right here. Nope. So the idea is that this whole picture was photoshopped. Oh my like god. Yeah. Tattoos were really Yeah, violent. tattoos do, yeah. They're very distinct. You can't get them away. Maybe they just forgot a few tattoos because they just weren't thinking. Well, then this picture came out. So this is an actor. Mm. Same nose. He posted a picture of holding his baby. Yeah, that literally looks wow. like a baby. Literally. And there's other wow. people in the ratio, and it looks just like that. So wow. wow. Yeah. A year later, Lady Gaga even put a moment in a music video of somebody 
somebody pushing her up on the top of the Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember that. So then, as you know, a couple years ago, that's kind of messed up. gets involved in drugs and kind of starts, you know, losing her sense of reality. Mm -hmm. She's depressed. So some people think, did she start having all of that happen to her because she was feeling guilty? Yeah. Why is that? Why is it that every every artist has something with like a mental breakdown or something? Because sometimes I think it's a little bit too much for everything they have to do. And it's like they can't really find anything to cope. But like alcohol and drugs, they turn to that. Because it's really easy to get when you're a celebrity. Right. So. You're right about that. So Lou Reed was a very famous musician and a huge inspiration to Gaga. Such an inspiration that she wanted his approval over her album Art Pop. She okay. sent him tracks, she called him and she said, I want you to listen, I want your approval, because she took some inspiration from his work and she wanted him to like prove it. Some of her mm -hmm. songs on the album were inspired by some of his old songs, some of the artwork was inspired by him, and she wanted him to approve it and mm -hmm. like it. She loved him. Well, mm -hmm. he listened to the music. He didn't like it. He didn't like it. He mm -hmm. even used the word nauseated. That's Ooh. how he felt when he listened to That's it. That's terrible. So obviously, this really affected Lady Gaga having one of her idols call her music nauseated. Nauseating. That's even terrible. Worse is Lou Reed told the record label that if she released that album, he would publicly say that it was plagiarized, mm -hmm. that she ripped stuff off from him, and that he did not approve of it. Well, mm -hmm. then, not that long after, he went to the hospital for a liver transplant. Died. And he died. And then after he died, Gaga's album came out, and there was no talk of playing. What the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fast period. So splashing my face, Jill. They'll do anything to make sure like, they get that money. They get their money. It's very interesting. Okay, speaking of the record industry and the crazy things they do, this next theory is kind of a continuation of something we've talked about in the past. So as you guys right. know, there is a theory that Britney Spears' I knew it was Britney. album I was about to say Britney. was not sung by her, but it was sung by a backup singer, else. Maya, who can do a really good Britney Spears impersonation. Mm -hmm. And how that theory uh -huh. happened was basically her dad came out in an interview and said, yeah, my daughter sings all the backups for Britney Spears, and she also pretty much sings all the songs. Of course, Maya mm -hmm. denied this, and was like, no, 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 I'm just the backup singer, like, I would never do that. But then this mm -hmm. demo track came out called Black Widow, which is Maya singing it, and literally it sounds just like Britney Spears. Just to refresh your memory, you didn't listen. Yeah, she sounds exactly like Britney. Yeah, that was not Britney, that was Maya. Wow. It sounded just wow. fucking like her. So that yeah. was the theory that Maya sang all the songs on the and Blackout just... album. And then supposedly mm -hmm. Britney Spears got her life back together and she started singing for herself again. Mm -hmm. And then this came out. So there's a couple songs on Britney Spears' album, Britney Jean, that literally sound like an impersonation of Britney. Like, it doesn't sound like genuine Britney. It sounds like somebody pretending to be Britney. Mm -hmm. And a lot of her fans realized this. I did. When I first heard this album and I heard these two songs, I was like, what the fuck? That's not Britney. <laughs> That's like somebody trying to do Britney and they're kind of drunk. I need to listen to that because I know the voice very well. Mm -hmm. So the theory is that Maya sang these songs and probably other songs on the album. Well then, somebody leaked the recording session of Alien with Maya. So this is Maya singing, supposedly. Now she is a backup singer, uh -oh. so she's doing the background vocals, but listen to it. It sounds just like Britney. I'm not alone, not alone, not alone. Maya Jean. Yeah, yeah now, Maya just Jean. listen to literally two <laughs> seconds of the song Alien. I don't want to get like copyrighted or in trouble, but just, just listen. It does not sound like Britney Spears. It sounds like an impersonator. Yeah. And the song Passenger is even crazier. It's like, kind of literally it, sounds know? like a drag queen <laughs> doing Britney Spears. Just listen. I can't let go of control. I can't let go and I know. See what I mean? No. Like that's crazy. Like, yeah. That does not sound like a genuine Britney. Mm -hmm. Now also, the song Passenger was written by Sia. Oh, I love her. Mm -hmm. And she talked about it. And from what I remember, I was trying to find the source, but I couldn't find it. I remember her saying on a podcast that she never actually worked with Britney. She just wrote the song and then Britney recorded it. So, does Sia know? Because nobody <laughs> remembers Britney Spears recording this song. Nobody <laughs> yeah. supposedly was in the room with her. So, did she actually? 
Mm. It's very scary. Maybe think about. not. For some reason, it creeps me out. Just imagine, like, you're listening to your favorite artist, and then you find out that it was not them. Yeah. Yeah. Just like, the whole guys like me, like, pretend to be Jay Z. So like, yeah. And <laughs> ball so hot, and then he just <laughs> he realizes it's not even Jay. You just be like, what? <laughs> I can't believe that I have heard about this theory before. Okay. No kidding. Yes. Ricky Murphy was murdered by the government. Now I've talked about Brittany Murphy's death before because it is so fucking random and weird, and there's so many unsolved mysteries about it. So she died in 2009 in her house, just died. 2009. They said like it was natural causes. Then I think she's like a number of years died, and they said natural causes. Well, obviously it wasn't natural causes. That doesn't make any sense. They were both in their 30s. They didn't just drop dead. Yeah. Well, then her dad Angelo came out, and he said he believes that it was the government. So let me write this down. There's wow. a woman named Julia Davis. Now, Julia Davis was working for the Border Control in California. So she found some security flaws out at the border where she thought the terrorist could come through. Now, when she exposed these flaws because she wanted to help and she wanted to fix it, she was branded as a domestic terrorist. Well, Brittany Murphy came out publicly and said that she was on the side of Julia and that she believes that Julia should not be branded that and that she was going to stick by her side. Well, then, Brittany Murphy told her dad afterward she thought that the government had tapped her house and tapped her phone. Oh, she wow. said she felt like she was being watched. She said that when she used her phone, she could hear the clicking and the beeps. And she I, said, I, she like, I, I hear clicking sometimes in yeah. my phone. Well, they they watching us, Jazz. They're like, yeah, they're, they're YouTubers. I mean, you're not going to find nothing. So yeah. her dad was so sure that there was something shady going on with her death and that somebody killed her. And he got some of her hair samples. And he got his own toxicology report done because mm. the toxicology report that the police did was like it was natural causes. And he's like, nah. That's yeah, it's like well, I don't think so. Toxicology report came back and inside of it it said that there was heavy metal poisoning found in her system. Oh now, wow! Angela was like, uh, guys, look, fucking heavy metal poisoning found in her house, in her system when she died, and in her husband's system. Everybody's like, sorry, case is already closed. Um, <laughs> that one. I mean, if that was your child, you'd want to do more research. Like, exactly. How she just died naturally at 30. Yeah, in the 30s, like, come on now, like, really? Yeah. Oh, that one just, like, gives me fucking chills. So I guess we'll never know how Brittany Murphy actually died. And uh, if I show up dead one day, please. They'll know. Oh my gosh. Well, let me know now in the comments which one's your I think that the one with the JV is the previous one. Considering yeah. that y'all went through all this work. Like, For what? Like, dog, like, it's not like, even that just, serious. Like, just, just make music. Like, it's not that serious. And, and the thing about it is, like, people would accept that to come in. Cause yeah. like so it's like the same conspiracy of like Dan and Phil, where yeah. everybody was like, oh, they don't know if they're best friends or if they're more than that or whatever. It's called like fandom and all that stuff. Yeah. It's like. But Jasmine like, really we, thinks. We, we look, ship it. look, Jasmine really thinks that Beyonce did not have that child. I look. That's what okay. I was about to say look. earlier. You should have your own conspiracy. You know what? No, 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 no. no, no. Not, save it. Save no, it. No, Jasmine no, can have her own little. Okay. Okay. I was gonna say make. Comment below if you want Jess to make her own that, conspiracy theory on the Beyonce thing. I just think that she had her egg cell and uh, Jay Z cell put into somebody else, mm -hmm. and they had the baby. Because mm -hmm. when she sat down at one time, that stomach kind of felt a little weird, mm -hmm. and then she said like, "Oh, it's normal." <laughs> no, it's not. Right. No, it's not. But whatever. I mean, uh, I think that's still her baby. Yes, that's yeah. her and Jay Z's like you know DNA. But she didn't push the baby out, you know. Well, guys, I think. if you guys want Jasmine to have a full conspiracy <laughs> theory like Shane, just comment below to uh, let us know. So comment below, tell us what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And share some more, guys. Do so.